you've seen a lot over the course of your career, multiple technological and, and cultural paradigm shifts. Could, could you talk a little bit about that and how the nature of the work that we do and the workplaces that we do it in has changed and is is evolving? Yeah, I mean, the technology is extraordinary. You mentioned that I, I ran the National Centre for Network-Based Learning back at, at the in the business school in Southampton here in the UK. And we ran the first online collaborative learning courses back in 1984. And they were they were cross-national. So that was with organizations in the UK, in France, and in Germany. And when I think about the technologies we use then, it really was very primitive. In fact, I still have some old modems that are 1275 modems, which will mean nothing to anyone here. But it was really, it was a it was a dribble, you know, the 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 the, the whole internet was a dribble. And then when the web first appeared. We launched the first, the world's first online MBA with very early browsers, just after Tim Berners-Lee and Robert Kayer developed HTML, created HTML and so on. That was in the 1990s. So the technology's changed phenomenally. But I think that equally, there's been a lot of changes in the nature of work. And to me, one of the major changes in work is that today, much more work, many, many more roles and jobs require decision-making and critical thinking than they did maybe 50 years ago. And many jobs which are, were sort of in demand 50 years ago, which were transactional, have been automated. So they've been subsumed into technology. And many jobs which were transactional 50 years ago, if they haven't been auto automated, they were actually now requiring people in those roles to carry out tasks which require decision making and and critical thinking and so on let me give you an example i think a good example is banking you know 50 years ago in banks the back office of banks had lots and lots of people employed there who kept ledgers recorded transactions and so on and so forth today all that work's done by technology that those jobs have disappeared and 50 years ago the front of house people working in banks the tellers they did transactional work. They took took deposits, they cashed checks, and so on and so forth. Today's front of house people in bank banks, bank employees, if they still exist. I mean, I bank with banks which have no employees visible, but you know, there are there are banks where we still have front of house bank people. But their role has changed. So they're expected now to be able to consult with customers and to advise, you know, the best op op options for customers for whatever they happen to want to do. And so that work has changed from transactional into much requiring much, much higher skills and capabilities. And actually, I had a, a conversation with the chief executive officer of a, a large Spanish and Spanish American bank, actually also in the south southern United States uh, bank a few years ago. And I was there carrying out a, a review of their learning and development practices and procedures. And, and this CEO said to me something which really stuck to me. He said, Charles, banking is simple. You know, people say banking is a complex industry. He, say, he said, it's actually not. It's just involves two things, people and technology. And if you get both of them right, we succeed. If you get one wrong, we fail. And I think that's maybe simplifying things a bit. But I think that sort of, to me, reflects the fact that with L&D, you know, we are dealing with, with people and teams and organizations, and we're dealing with technology. And if we get, if we get one of them right, you know, we're likely to we're likely to fail. We need to get them we need to get them all right. So I think the this trend of this changing nature work is is happening across all sectors. It's not just banking. It's wherever you look. You could say you know you can pick out examples of the of the same sort of thing. 